All right, good morning. This is Dan Kiley. We are at 5779 Summit Meadow. Just doing a walkthrough for you guys. Let you see what the house looks like. We'll get to the backyard and the pool and the, everything back there. Nice looking house. It's had some, uh, I just read inside the roof's about five years old. There's been some work done to the house. Nice landscaping. I walk through, I look at a lot of structural stuff. I'll point out the pretty stuff, but I'm more of a structural guy. Not that I don't appreciate the good stuff. I just know it's no good if the house is crumbling. A couple little cracks here in the in the stamped concrete, which is beautiful. Concrete cracks, I, I don't get that worried about it. I do think at some point those little cracks need to be sealed up to make sure they don't expand and get worse, but not a major deal. I'm not afraid of concrete cracks. I've been in several of these houses in this neighborhood. So coming in, right away you notice the new, I'd say newer hardwood floors, but I don't know if they're just the refinished old ones, but really nice looking here. So you got like a traditional living room off to the right here. It's got the plantation style built-in shutters here on the front crown mold everywhere in here so a lot of extra things in this house really cool kind of a dining room which is that door leads to the kitchen we'll go around that way in a second stairs going up we'll do the first floor first show the thermostat and I'm not sure what that is I don't know if that's I think that's an air purification system so come in here you got a really nice family room and if somebody wanted to that wall where that picture is that led to that that living room that wall could definitely be opened you run into problems in there with the flooring and patchwork and stuff but it can be it can be fairly easily accomplished so you got a bay window here which gives you extra room for seating nice looking fireplace you can see they got a the gas starter set up in here. Um, it's got, got an electric blower on it also, so we'd have to check the functionality of all that. So kind of walking through into the kitchen, beautiful kitchen. The cabinets are newer. Um, you see a lot of wood grain, granite tops, the, the nice vent here and the five burner gas stove wall oven just a lot of really cool things in here got kind of a little coffee bar a lot of cabinetry it's got a garden window which is pretty nice put some plants out there whatever and here's the area that sneaks back to the dining room that's that door i showed you earlier we'll just poke our head in there and kind of take a look around not feeling a lot of settling in the floors or anything. The reason I bring that up is, I mentioned I've been in these houses before. Some of these have, uh, can have issues with foundation problems. So just back into this little hallway that goes back to the kitchen. Got a laundry room where they built in some cubbies and got some cabinetry where the washer and dryer go poke her head out in the garage nice they got a heater up in the corner and you can see they finished the floor in the garage a lot of really cool extras in here the walls are drywalled in here I have to assume it's insulated behind there I don't know why somebody would drywall and finish a garage without insulating take a look at the electric panel so got a good 200 amp service. This is always what I look at. Is lots of room for expansion. Um, you know, people want to do stuff. You got plenty of room in here. Here's a couple of blockers in there, so they got plenty of room in this in this panel. The irrigation system is turned off right now. So. 
Let's look and see. Let's really, so far, this is a very nice house. So we're still on the first floor. Again. And this one's very beautiful, by the way. This house, I don't know if it's coming over in the video. It's a very cool looking house. Like this area right here is, it'll make people say, wow. I'm going to go ahead and stick my head out in the backyard. Let's get a look at that while we're down here. So, oh, holy cow. This is pretty cool, guys. Um, so you got this hill behind. Back behind there is, I believe it's a storage area, construction area. So they've got a, an above ground pool with a nice little deck around it and stuff. But the the... This landscaping, I'm going to go ahead and walk down these little steps. Have to assume this outdoor kitchen area is going to stay. We're going to have to check all that, though. So, I'm going to walk around. I mean, wow. They've got a lot of money tied up in this right here. So, there's a drain. All this water's got to go somewhere. Uh, everything right now the concrete we're standing on slopes away from the house which is nice again I this is beautiful but I'm I'm more structural that's what I'm concerned about on this walkthrough because so we're walking around the pool you see all the rock I'll show you the pool it's just an above ground pool it's big it's nice neighbors got one there's some another set of steps back here in the landscaping I'm going to go ahead and walk up there, see if we can get a peek over that fence of what's back there. Again, guys, I'm trying to do this to get you an idea of what's here. If your parents want to come see this, certainly I'm more than, they're more than welcome. I'd love to come show it to them. Uh, let me come over here, see if I can hold my phone up. I, I saw a video, an aerial of this. I'm going to drive back around here. I see some construction equipment parked back there. So I, I'm not sure what it is. It's some kind of construction company. It might be their storage yard. So the question will be, is there noise there in the morning? If all of a sudden I start talking to a neighbor, that's what I'll be asking him. But Okay, back to the other steps. All right. You can see the roof looks good. That pipe right there is for that heater that's in the garage. This is a very nice area. Not a whole heck of a lot of yard space if you got kids that want to kick a soccer ball or throw a baseball or whatever. I'm 58 though, I don't worry about that stuff anymore. All right, we're back inside. So, a little half bath here. I'm going to close the toilet seat. I won't call it a phobia, but it's just a... But again, even in here, the, the little vanity and there's crown mold in here. Since we're here, here's a closet. And let's go ahead and walk downstairs. This is what I'm interested in. Smells dry. Aha, what we got here? What do we have here? Some sort of a pump system. This is for the... Wow. It's a water heater. So they've got... They went with the tankless water heaters down here. Okay. We're into some fancy stuff down here. A little above my pay grade. No, I just need to research this. This is tankless water heaters, but I want to find out why two and what everything is connected to it. Um, really nice, like the Instant Hot. It's just a lot more efficient. Plus, these are high efficient ones. When you see them in PVCs, they're high efficient. High efficient furnace. Here's the old hookups for the old water heater. So they do have a dehumidifier running down here. Um, not a major thing, but 
That's a newer looking furnace. It was installed in 2019. Fazzle heating and cooling, kind of a local. There's the dehumidifier running. And there's the old vent pipe from the, the old furnace that wasn't high efficient. So over here, at some point, they had some leaking and weeping. So they've made some repairs here. Um, they've got the sump system in that's pumping water out of here. They've got those valves on there. That's another odd one. Everything's open, but you've got this over here too, which is more of a, a drain. Just have to see where everything's coming from. I got a lot tied into this. This is a drain line over here. But then what are they draining into the sump? So that's another question we got there. It's not a big deal. I'm just, I ask questions to myself so I remember them too. Okay, on the floor, you've got some cracking. Uh, this spot right here appears to be uphill. Not a lot of unevenness down here that's i would look for and I, honestly i have to tell you these basements over here i've never seen one of these in this neighborhood without cracks in the foundation the soil was real high plastic content so the water get, hits the soil and it swells and then it contracts and it it forces this concrete to crack so my guess is this one had a lot of moisture underneath the floor. That's what caused all this to kind of lift and crack a little bit. That's why they put the sump pump in to control that. So it's all taken care of. Here's, here's one little crack up here. We do want to check this out. It's not terrible, but you hate to see them going this way. Up and down is fine. This is just a tiny little crack and it's above the, the foundation line. It's above the, I'm sorry, the ground line. So it's not a major issue, but it, all cracks are can be issued so that one's at least worth looking at and noting okay so down here all in all this this basement is in fantastic shape this house is in really nice shape so far from what i see i didn't really look termite damage got a little moisture here have to see what's going on up there usually that's above the ground line so that's water splashing something's happening there but i really i don't see a lot of evidence of termites i did notice on their seller's disclosure which i can get you on this that they did mention 15 20 years ago they did find some termite and treated it um there's something right there there's something right there a little bit of moisture getting in over there on this side We'll just take a peek at that. Just remember that that's there. This kicks out. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs. Second floor. Hope this video is not getting too long. Hope I'm not getting too boring. Usually I mix in a joke or two, but. Okay. okay. I'm heading upstairs. I'll get you. My back is to the front door now, so this is where we came in. Okay, very nice. All the trim is high gloss and the doors, you get that shine off of it. <clears throat> All right. This is the hall bath. Like the detail in here. And this is beautiful. This is, I feel like I'm in Las Vegas at the Venetian or something. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little winded. Been on vacation all week. Must be getting lazy. <sighs> all right. Master bedroom or primary suite, depending how politically correct we're being. Very nice. 
closet. It's got a closet system in here, which really, really helps. You get a lot of extra space out of it. Sorry if I'm bouncing around. All right. All right, coming into the master bath. We'll just slow walk this in here. They got a big skylight up there. Got these high-end double bowl vanity. Got the toilet tucked away. Beautiful shower. Jacuzzi tub. Just very, very nice. Really a nice place. There's your those can be issues. Those are maintenance problems. Looks in good shape now though. All right, let's continue on. Here's the other two bedrooms. They even match the, the granite on the sills in the, in the bedrooms here. The other bedroom. Nope, oh, and front bedroom. So four bedrooms. Again with the matching sills. Four bedrooms. Very nice place. I'm gonna get this uploaded and get it over to you. Thank you.